welcome to our channel. Another week is coming to an end. We've got the latest information for next week's five episodes, March 13th through 17th, 2023. We predict that next week will be very exciting and dramatic. First, we're guessing that Gwen and Alex will be beaten up by Leo. Gwen and Alex would drink together and they would take each other home drunk. We still don't know if they have sex or not. But the fact that Gwen and Alex were naked and sleeping together at Gwen's motel room was captured by Leo. Salem will explode once Liam posts hot photos of Alex and Gwen on the spectator's Lady Whistleblower column. We will wait for Gwen and Alex's response after the news is spread. We forecast that Alex will corner Leo and attack him, while Gwen will fire him for this job. At Megan Hathaway's hideout, we'll see Bo Brady for the first time in years. He was locked in a frozen medical ward. Bo Brady is still alive, and he's fully awakened in next week's episodes. Bo will ask where Hope is when he wakes up. This will give Megan a headache. Meanwhile, Marlena and Kayla will panic over Kate's disappearance. Both will worry about Kate's fate, but they think it's reasonable to run away first, and then they'll come back with the others to rescue Kate. However, there's information that the two will meet an acquaintance. Will that person save Marlena and Kayla, or will he capture them for Megan? Next, Lee Shin won't give up on Gabby after all she's done. Lee Shin will try to stimulate Gabby's ambitious side, and that will split Gabby and Stefan's love. This is the only way to her heart. With EJ and Stefan fighting to the company's detriment, this could be the perfect opportunity for Gabby to strike. Lee Shin will urge Gabby to beat EJ and Stefan to become the CEO of Demera Enterprise, so we will see the contradictions begin to unfold with Stefan and Gabby. Will Lee Shin's plan succeed? Meanwhile, John and Steve's quest to find Megan in her lab makes great progress. They came across Hope by accident. He's also looking for Megan. Hope will reveal that Bo is still alive, so John and Steve will hope that Kayla and Marlena will be as lucky as O. All three will rush into this search. Back to Steve and John, they'll be surprised when their search for Megan leads them to an unexpected person. Hope seems to have a similar idea since she's also going to Megan's facility. Finally, it looks like we're going to see some major drama between Sloan and Belle. Those two have never really seen eye to eye, but it looks like they're going to have to put their differences aside in order to help Eric and Brady. And let's not forget about Eric and Brady. These two have been through so much, and it looks like they're going to need all the help they can get. I think Sloan and Belle teaming up is going to be a major turning point in their legal battle, and I can't wait to see how it all plays out. Overall, I think we're in for an exciting week of days of our lives. There's a lot of drama on the horizon, and I think we're all going to be glued to our screens, waiting to see what happens next. So make sure to stay tuned for all the latest updates. Hello, fans. Welcome back to our channel. Days of Our Lives recap for Wednesday, March 8, 2023 say that Chanel, the owner of Sweet Bits, meets a young woman who's looking for a job. The two women have a friendly banter over who bakes the best chocolate chip cookies. The woman offers Chanel a cookie, then Chanel immediately recognizes the exact recipe. Chanel agrees that the woman is a great baker and asks her to fill out an application. Meanwhile, Johnny confides in EJ about Stefan's possible drug use. And when he finds out about it, EJ thinks they can use this information to help Stefan. But they decide to keep it a secret for now. However, Wendy wonders if one Demera brother is drugging the other, which Johnny finds intriguing. Elsewhere, Stefan runs into Gabby in the park and they share a kiss. Lee catches them in the act and warns Gabby that their deal will become null and void if she cheats on him. Paulina faces financial troubles when she learns that her assets have been frozen. And Sloane hands her a court order that restricts her expenditures. Sloane is determined to take everything from Paulina and Chanel, but Belle offers to help Paulina. File a motion to undo the court order. Meanwhile, Nicole is not happy with Eric's new girlfriend, Sloan. She calls Sloan a tramp and a dumb bitch. But Sloan retaliates by calling Nicole old and a boomer. Nicole catches Sloan's wrist and then she tries to slap her. And tells Eric that he shouldn't be with someone like Sloan. However, Eric is only interested in the good sex he's having with Sloan. And doesn't care about right or wrong. In the Demera office, Stefan tells EJ about his encounter with Gabby and Lee. EJ feigns confusion about the business call he had with Lee earlier, claiming he was overwhelmed by the figures and dehydrated. Overall, this episode was filled with drama and suspense, leaving fans on the edge of their seats. It'll be interesting to see how these plot lines unfold in the upcoming episodes. 
What do you think will happen next? Let us know in the comments below. Gabby and Lee are in an apartment together, and Gabby is upset with him for stalking her. Lee confronts Gabby about lying about her daughter's school and tracking the phone. He offers to take back his shares and let her be with Stefan, who she really wants to be with. However, Gabby decides to honor the deal she made with Lee and suggests that they go to the museum he originally planned on visiting. Abe shows up and Paulina fires her legal team over the phone for not anticipating Sloane's actions. She orders Belle to do whatever it takes to stop Sloane and even instructs her attorney to protect Chanel, even if it means throwing her under the bus. In another scene, Eric is in his room in a towel when Sloane enters. She rips off the towel and pushes him onto the bed. These are just a few scenes, and there may be more like these to follow. Please let me know if you'd like me to continue with more details or provide a different prompt. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.